In March of 2008, two of my former students, Mike and Taylor, invited my family to go spelunking in Spanish Moss Cave. The initial descent is a corkscrew-shaped crack in the rocks which twists downward for 15 to 20 feet before it finally opens into the domed roof of the cave. The return trip was harder than the descent. We clambered back up to the domed room, but the real challenge remained. This time, we would be climbing up with the assistance of ascenders instead of dropping effortlessly down. I gathered myself and continued up the remaining visible length of rope until the top ascender would move no further. Fear took hold of me, and I had neither the strength nor the fortitude to let go. Every muscle in my body shook, and I began to contemplate what living in a cave might be like. <laughs> in this panic-stricken state, I heard Mike talking above me. He was telling me to relax, to stay calm, giving me instructions on where to reach. I could not see any suitable handholds, so I told Mike, I cannot do this. I remember hearing some movement above me, then Mike telling me to take his hand. You're just going to pull me up one-handed? Sure, he said confidently. Looking up again, I was seized with the realization that I really didn't want to stay in that cave forever. I wanted to go home. This awareness gave me the courage to trust Mike and reach for his hand. One moment I was dangling from the dome, and the next I was wedged into the crevice, still clinging to one ascender with my free hand. I could finally relax my arms. Perhaps you would have fared better than I did in Spanish Moss Cave. But we all, at one time or other, will be in a situation where our strength, or knowledge, or skill, or perhaps even our desire, is not enough. These are the times that your Savior pulls you up out of the darkness if you will let go and take his hand. I asked Mike recently whether he was ever concerned about getting me out of the cave that day. Without even thinking about the answer, he replied, no, there is always a way. Sometimes it's 5% me and 95% the other person. Sometimes it's 99% me and 1% the other person. But I know I can work with whatever the person has to give. Our Savior is the same. He can work with whatever you have to give if you're willing to accept His help.